Chopin's uh, big famous E flat uh, nocturne uh, is it's the sort of piece that almost anyone hearing it will say, oh, yes, I know this one. Is there a reason why it's so enduring or so particularly memorable? Yeah, I think the reason it's so enduring is that it's simply one of the most beautiful melodies ever written. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember hearing it when I was a very young kid and wondering, could I ever play it? And then hearing the little sort of, as it were, little cadenza at the end and saying, oh my goodness, how did you get those fingers to work like that? And then suddenly you get to the stage of being able to do all these things and you think, okay, I want to make this special. What, how do I make it special? I mean, I often say to students, get rid of the accompaniment, just play the melody so that the, the accompaniment is supporting the melody and not interrupting it. And then, how do you do the line? I mean, how would a singer do it? I mean, Chopin spent practically every night at the opera, if he could. I mean, he went to operas all the time and he kept on saying, like Mozart in his letters, that um, you should imitate the human voice. And I'm a frustrated singer. I mean, I'm a terrible <laughs> singer. And the closest I get to actually um, singing is playing the piano. And this nocturne is simply, as I say, one of the most beautiful melodies ever written. <laughs> Thank you. 